Today I'm here with Simply Lisa. You need to check out her YouTube channel. She's been around for a long, long time. She's got some great stuff on there. Um, anything else you want to tell us about social media, Lisa? Well, uh, if they go to simplylisa.com, they can find buttons to get to everything. But if you Google, you'll find me. Lisa is spelled L-E-S-A. Um, and come join my little tiny community on um, Simply Live with Simply Lisa on Sunday mornings. Oh, awesome. 9.30 Arizona time. Nice. Yeah, it's really been really fun. We've been doing that for a little over a year now. Oh, that will so, be so that's, much fun. That's been really good. So, we are going to do a tour of her home on wheels. You got to see this. I'm telling you, this is it right here. Right here. Look, look, people, look. <laughs> Let me I bottle mean, my, my taco. <laughs> Can you believe this? Let's flip it around and take the tour. Won't you take me home? So here's Lisa in her little tracker. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look. Okay, we went in front of my van to block the wind a little bit. Tell me again exactly what your ride is. It's a 1998 Chevy tracker, it's automatic with a four wheel drive, and it has a two inch lift kit with 235 75R15 tires. Nice. And what's your gas mileage? 27 to 30 miles to the gallon. Awesome. Do you have any idea what the length <coughs> of it is? No. Okay. <laughs> no idea. I should I'll measure. look that up probably. I should measure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, so welcome. <laughs> welcome home? This is, yeah, this is drive mode. I, I don't mind a dirty car, people. There, there gets dirt and mud and sand and stuff. This is drive mode, basically. I'll go around and I'll show you kind of how things uh, flip out into other stuff. Okay, awesome. I do want to point out she's also, can I do this? Yeah. She's also a member of Overland Bound yes. Outfit and Explore. And he also says adventure is necessary is one of his stickers that I don't have yet. But and you teach, correct? I do. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're not looking for <laughs> and, and don't you love, I have saddlebags for my rear, for my spare tire. <laughs> Not everybody gets to carry around saddlebags. No, it's like motorcycle saddlebags for a, for a spare tire. It's so cool for me. This one has fire starting stuff for campfires. And, uh, you know, I love these tumbleweeds, if you can afford them. Oh, right? nice. And charcoal. You know, if you can see, family dollar charcoal is okay. some of the cheapest. Uh -huh. So that's what's in here. So that's part of your fire and or cooking. Yeah, and this is my little, this is a, a portable fire pit. Oh, nice. It's awesome. only that big. I'm not, I'm not wow. going to take these every piece out. You can see them over on my channel. And this saddlebag has um, my cooking stuff in it. So salt, uh, pots. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Cutting board. Cooking stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. Titanium hiking spoons, things that are lightweight. Uh, I do, I do believe in traveling light and often. So keeping it lightweight protects the old hinges on my car. So yeah, this is, you know, my, this is the way the back opens on this one. And Love it. Rally time. Right now, this is serving because I did not bring out my portable refrigerator. This is how I'm protecting my uh, my foodstuffs. Okay. A Ziploc bag of ice, a canteen with ice in it. I, uh, I picked that up for two dollars at a thrift store around here, and then I actually have like beef. And yes. I know the other day you had shown me that you had a two-pound bag of frozen beef from about ten hours earlier in the day, yeah. and it was still frozen. Right. So, and she didn't even have ice in there at that time. No, um, I've got I've got more frozen down in here because I bought meat for a couple of days. Uh, for yeah, like, uh, here's frozen frozen hamburgers. Okay, but I put them in Ziploc bags so you're not so messy. Yes, and so just, just by basically protecting it with extra um, insulation. insulation, and then she also puts little pillows and things around it, or extra clothes, yeah. or whatever. The more you insulate it, the longer it's going to stay cold. 
Excellent, excellent exactly. tip, Lisa. So that's uh, that's that for now. Um, of course, I, I don't love plastic anyway. So See what she just plastic. did with her clothes there? She just insulated her, her food. Right. This is a new gift. I don't even know where I'm putting it yet. Oh, it's lovely. It's so cute. It is cute. And, It'll uh, work. Yes. This, I need to get better magnets. Yeah. But, yeah. but this, this is, is so this is a motion detector light, a uh, solar light, charges by solar. I can put and it on the outside. And you put it on the outside. And, um, At night, when I'm right. in a place where I want to. So these are my seat, rear seat belts. And so I just put my hat over that, right? This is, a, I can make a table out of this. Rain jacket, uh, down jacket, extra paper towels, um, a candle holder thing, um, a travel uh, eye mask and earplugs, my scarf thing. Uh, it's a buff, a turtle fur. Oh, okay. It's like to keep your neck warm because my neck gets cold sometimes. Let me stick those in there. Uh, a second sun hat because I just picked it up for $2 at a thrift store. Um... <laughs> This is my lawn chair. Obviously, this is in dry mode. That coat I'm going to give away. Um, recovery tracks, which are going on my roof as soon as possible. Maybe in the next week. But notice this. She said this is in drive mode. And look how spacious it still is. Everything is packed up in here. Yeah. Everything. Right. Everything. And, and this, she still has room up front. Right. And this is odds and ends. Okay. Uh, and this is uh, my computer bag today, but I've ordered a new one that will uh, flip over my steering wheel uh, different. Oh, okay. And, and I see you have a table here too, right? Is that's this... a steering wheel table. Yeah. I'm yeah. not really in love with it the way it fits this steering wheel. Okay. But, but you now, like the idea? The idea is good and I do use it. Okay. And this is just a, an, an inexpensive duffel that I actually bought from KB Tools. Uh-huh. I don't remember how much they were. Ten dollars maybe uh i want to buy a second one but uh that's my clothes and wow. i have one more spot where there's a few clothes but that's a giveaway how many sets of clothes do you have oh that's a good question i don't know <laughs> people do ask me so i should find out yeah um this chair you can't buy in a walmart but you can buy it on walmart.com 350 pound rating right and they're 20 dollars oh wow but they're super lightweight and, and, and short. fold up nice and compact and check out the bag oh yeah, yeah. love I, it i like the bag so um let me set that down here. i wish they had those in the stores i know but you can you can order them so so this is my bed obviously or I'm saying obviously. To me, it's obvious. <laughs> uh, towel, this is going to disappear soon. But the red bag is my dirty clothes. And the blue bag that's under here is uh, some extra things. I'm not quite sure. The clothing and uh, towels and okay. things. That I still haven't organized where I want them. Because who knows where I want them. This is my... Uh, I'm cold at night. I need my socks spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my washcloth. And this little bag in here is my bathroom stuff. Oh my, my hair gosh. ties and my wooden brush. And, and that's all, all you need for your bathroom right, necessities. Right. And awesome. So when I'm traveling, I stick the solar panel here. Okay. And if I need to, if I don't feel like putting it out, it's an extra layer under my pillows. It really doesn't bother me that much. Okay. And then this box on the bottom now holds my Insta Privy. Oh, that allows me it's okay. my bathroom kit okay so oh I, wow um a whole yeah a whole little toilet set up and so you have a, is there even a little tent in there there is that it's not a tent though it's a thing you put over your head okay do you want me to pull it out to show it that would actually be excellent i think just because i haven't ever heard of it so okay. do you mind no i don't mind okay. I do. this is the so here's the seat and uh, I know the couple that invented this. So the seat folds a specific way like this and like this. And um, he made it smooth on the inside so it's easy to clean. If you oh, very good. Okay. And then you can, these hooks will hold your plastic bag. Oh, wow. And okay. then you can clip it down and it clips. You do have to be a little careful that it's on a level space. Okay. okay. And then... Of course, you put your bag in there, so you, you capture your, your stuff. Yeah. Right, right. yeah, and a lot of people already know how to do that part. And then you pop this out. Now, remember the wind's blowing, okay? Yes. And this was designed to do what I'm going to do now. Okay. 
Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay. And then you're supposed to be able to get over here and sit down. Okay. okay. Look, just leave it on for a second. Look, so she can still see, see out, out and breathe and all that good stuff. That is hilarious. And I love it. It's a pocket inside, but because of the wind and because I get dizzy when I put that on my head. Yes. So. Oh, the wind really is picking up. People. Yes, I'm sorry it's for the wind noise, guys. We'll get through this, though. And if you want more info, you know, just ask me. I'm available. I'm online. So I found <laughs> that if I, park, oh, okay. if I park the other way, uh -huh. so the wind is coming the other direction, my door will help. But I just put the loop over that. See? Yeah, and, and then, then it, it'll just hang down there and she can... Uh, and I hook it. <laughs> On my, when I can. <laughs> the wind is seriously fighting us but here. When I can, I hook it on my. my oh, bench. okay, okay. And then I can get in and out of it. But in this wind, I would have parked the car the opposite direction. Yes. So, yeah, she's just here visiting today. She came <laughs> up to visit me, and I said, "Hey, let's do a tour." <laughs> okay. So, so that's that. Oh my gosh! Thank you for showing us that. I have never seen that. You. <laughs> okay, so while she's putting up the bathroom privy, it came in this little pack here, which is another one of her um, little saddle bags on her rear tire that she uses for, she uses it for trash, which is perfect. So, I have a number of these little small pillows that are camp pillows from Walmart. Okay. Like $10, yes, but they help me stuff in places when I need some. Okay. Yes. Sometimes if it's cold, it's extra warm. Okay. This one is my blankie, and I hardly ever zip it up. Because what's the bottom layer on top of this? Uh -huh. It's like a gel Us. pad, looks like. Yeah. Okay. So, and then in the passenger side, so you can see, okay, here's the battery pack. I'm working with Cascadia 4x4 to change my solar system. I will eventually have a uh, hood-mounted solar panel. Oh, this is uh, just an old table from a Walmart thing that goes on here to make it more flat. And you can use it outside. Right? And I can use it outside. I can do all kinds of things with it. For now, I'm going to do this. I use a little step stool outside when I set up. Making my bed for the night, I just roll this over. Yeah, you leave stuff well, down first, there, right? Yeah, but first what I wanted to show you was this is this passenger seat. Yeah. So when I want to use it, I can just set it up. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so she I, totally could take a passenger with her. Yeah. So Crazy. I just do this, and then I roll this down like this, and now get a picture. Now that's my bed. It's very cozy. Okay. So this is her bed right here in the tracker, and like I I was saying, she can actually even carry a passenger if she wants to. I can't even do that in my van right now. Oh my gosh, Lisa. <laughs> we are talking minimal to the max. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girl. Thank you. Is yeah. there anything else you'd like to show uh, us? Just, you know, I have water jugs, but I'm always working on trying to find something that fits well. That's not really good. And you, the new peak up. You know, for any oh, nice because, up, yes. because it's uh, short, uh -huh. it fits if I need to move the seat. I don't have to move it. Do you mind showing me this? Oh, yeah. Because I think that is of great interest. It is, but it's it's really expensive, people. You okay. can buy this on Amazon, but it's really, really expensive. It's the, by Thermos, and it's called the Shuttle Chef. And Explain it, to us what it does. It's a thermal pot. Okay. And so... Um, it, it is thermal, thermos brand, right? So uh -huh, it's sealed right. really well. Um, but inside is a stainless steel pot that you put this on a fire or a, you know, any kind of heat. Source, right, right, right. And cook something in this, bring it up to a boil, and then you put it back in here. You have to, you know, keep it clean, right? And then once it's boiled, you put it in here and you put the lid on and, uh, turn it so it locks and then it's sealed uh -huh. and will continue to cook for six to eight hours awesome. and so I often will make dinner for the day or uh, at dinner time make breakfast or lunch for the next day it just it, it helps because I'm allergic to propane it really helps me to uh, manage my fuel costs Definitely. because my 
Sterno cans cost money. I use Sterno during fire bearings. Alcohol a lot, charcoal and fire on a campfire. And I can do that with this part. You know, you so never this put is... this part on, but you put the other part on the flame. Right. And you can wash it. Okay, awesome. Thank so you. So inside, from the dash to the back door with the seat flat, it's 72 inches. So and right at six from, foot. Yeah. And which is a yoga mat or a camp pad. Uh -huh. Okay. And from the stick shift to the door handle is 25 inches, which is a basic camp pad. Okay. Okay. So um, both seats fold backwards. I, ha I did have to remove the back seat. Okay. Um, that's up at my cabin. Um, so you can... And diagonally... It's seven feet inside. Oh, okay. So if somebody was trying really hard to maneuver living in one, uh -huh. and you were taller, you could put both seats down and fill in all the gaps as best you can. And I found that those those tan ammo crates are just the right height to fill in the gap behind it where the, the headrest of the seat lands. Oh, okay. Because my headrests are not removable. It's oh, older seats. Okay. Yeah. And you do have some um, rails on order, I believe. I do. The rails should be here this week. I'm kind of staying in quartzite waiting to get them and then to have somebody help me install them. And then, so that will extend your space tremendously, I am sure. Yeah, because those uh, orange recovery tracks will go up on top and the lawn chair. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for showing us around your little home. Thank you. And uh, I hear tell you may even be taking a Baja trip. I am. In this. Oh, my gosh. Isn't I do awesome? long distance travel in this, yes. Yes. And oh, I didn't show you the wee boost. I don't oh. have it on the phone right now. <laughs> okay. Wow. I didn't know they were that small. <laughs> well, that's a different antenna, but it works with the same. I have the over-the-road sleek, and it works. It was $25 to have the magnetic oh, one. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you again, Lisa. And again, let's all visit her channel. Subscribe, like, comment below. We don't need no